students i welcome you all to kamla online program i hope you all are doing well i congratulate you all on successfully passing your 9th class and uh, welcome to your 10th class this is your 10th class first session that is your physics first chapter we will discuss today i don't have to explain you how important is your 10th class and i don't have to explain you this so this also that how important is your uh, physics subject is so no hardships you don't have to follow any books and all whatever things i am saying whatever points i am explaining you you all have to pay close attention and you need to write down these all points and you, you need to read the book as well from where you will get the book you will get the book from internet easily it is available just you have to write your book name as well as dot pdf ts physical science book dot pdf you will get that book it is very easy to find out i hope you can you all can you all can read at your house okay now the norms and what are the rules you need to follow so this is your 10th class so i don't have to explain you what people need to do what people not need to do and all stuff firstly you need to be disciplined you make your house your school you know how hectic our time table is if you are at our school but uh, bad luck due to our pandemic you people are at your house so make your house your own school okay so let's get started we will start with your uh, concept that is reflection of light at curved surface students in your 7th uh, and 8th class in your uh, childhood you people have learned reflection of light in plane mirror right there you have learned what do you mean by uh, what is exactly a plane mirror what are the characteristics of image formed by plane mirror what is virtual image what is real image and the uh, rules like the laws of reflection a lot of things you have learned here some things will be changed and some things will be remain as it is but uh, the change is very predominant bahut kuch change hone wala hai lot of stuff will change so that is why we people gave you this one reflection of light at curved surface so here one thing will be common that is your loss of reflection students you will always this thing you need to keep in your mind loss of reflection are always similar whether it is a normal like your uh, plane mirror or is it a curved mirror so i don't have to explain you what exactly are those uh, laws of reflection you people need to read again so your first and foremost thing is what are the laws of reflection let me say you first law of reflection is the incident ray uh, the normal the reflected ray the point of incidence as well as the mirror all lies on the same plane first law second law is the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection these are the two points which are first and second law and it is same for each and everybody right okay. so in this concept we will learn about spherical mirrors what are spherical mirrors how many types of spherical mirrors are there and uh, what kind of images they do give what are the properties of the images what they are giving okay students so let's get started we have two kind of spherical mirrors we can find out two kind of spherical mirrors first one is your concave second one is your convex i hope you all can see students first one is your concave mirror second one is your convex mirror okay so now you need to learn what is the example of concave and convex mirror i hope you all are having spoon at your house right spoon yes spoon means with which we are eating right so when you are holding a spoon what what is the thing you can see here i am not a good artist please uh, handle it so here as you can see for understanding purpose i, I did this one okay so spoon is kind of this right so from this side we are holding our food right from this side we are holding our food the side from which you are holding your food that is your concave surface so in a mirror if it is a concave mirror then the side which has been bulged inward 
okay that particular surface will be called as concave surface so this will be like this this side is opaque because it is a mirror right next if you hold the spoon in this side this direction now this is opaque surface we have painted it now this is surface it is the exact opposite to the surface of this one right we cannot hold fold so now this surface will be called as convex one which one convex surface so in a mirror a convex surface is that surface which is bulged outward fine very easy i hope you all have understood what is concave mirror what is convex mirror okay and you need to write what is concave mirror what is convex mirror with a proper diagram okay i hope you can do so students in a plane mirror it was very easy to find out it uh, it's normal right suppose it is a plane mirror so it was very easy for us to find out the normal how we are finding out the normal just we have to put a 90 degree symbol over there this is our normal right where the <coughs> ray is incidence like the incidence ray is like pointed this is the point of incidence where the light is coming and incident upon the mirror and here as you can see normal means 90 degree to the plane so how can you find out a normal in a curved surface because it is a curved mirror suppose you all it is a curved mirror here it is again a curved mirror this is your concave surface this is your sorry this is convex students outward now so this is your convex this is your concave right so in concave surface what you can do see and here you need to find out the normal how can you find out the normal here it is bit tricky but let me uh, make it simple you have an experiment okay we will take a rubber seat what we will take students we will take a rubber seat parallel rubber seat like plain rubber seat we will take okay and we will place pins what we will place students pins suppose i place three pins here now what i do i just turn the rubber seat i turn it out okay i just twist it i bend it after bend after bending you what it look like it look like this whereas this one will come this side right so they all will bend with that so now as you all can see they all are meeting at a common point right they all are meeting at a common point so this is the common point right so simply as you all can see the normals of a uh, spherical mirror whatever may be the spherical mirror whether it is convex whether it is concave their normals will always merge they all converge or diverge at a common point called center of curvature called center of curvature you need to remember this one students we can find out easily what we need to do we just need to draw a line from center of curvature to the surface whatever may be the point that will be 90 degree we all know this one right if it is a sphere from a sphere from its center okay if you had if you have if you done this one if you do this one if you do that do this whatever lines you may draw you can draw infinite infinite radius over here each and every radius each and every radius will make 90 degree will make what students 90 degree they all will make their 90 degree 
in your 10th class when you will read circles yes in your maths when you will read circles then you will get to know this one okay a tangent drawn at any point of the circle will denote the 90 degree like it will be normal so here each and every line drawn from the center of the curvature to the surface are acting as normals are acting as normals so it is very easy i hope you will have understood now it is a part of a circle or not just look into it it is a part of a circle right so it must have a center so the center of this virtual circle is called as center of curvature this is your center of curvature right now from this center of curvature we will draw one line it is called as radius whose radius curvature's radius so we will say radius of curvature which is capital r it is center of curvature it is radius of curvature now people have understood both the things right okay the point where the radius touches the mirror is called as pole is called as what students pole so how many things we have learned center of curvature radius and pole you all got it okay now another thing we need to understand that is focus what it is focus students when light rays comes okay whenever light ray comes they fall okay they will fall upon the mirror if parallel light rays are coming light rays are coming parallel with what with this c okay suppose i do this one okay one axis i draw the axis touches both your c as well as p okay now this axis is called as principal axis what did it students principal axis you need to write everybody's like each and every one's definition okay by looking your book you will write what the definition of pole what do you mean by radius of curvature what do you mean by center of curvature what is the definition of principal axis every each and every definitions you need to write right so here the rays of light which are coming in parallel with principal axis by making a parallel angle with principal axis after striking the mirror they all will point they all will converge at a common point okay students no matter how many rays are coming with parallel to the principal axis after striking the mirror they will converge to meet at a common point they will converge to meet at a common point let me erase these things okay the point where they all will converge that point will be focus that point will be focus you need to write it capital f okay i hope you all got it and from f from f means focus to the distance p is called as small f what is small f that is focal length what it is focal length focal length is what the distance between pole and focus the distance between pole and focus is called as focal length so what are things we have learned first we have learned c which means center of curvature okay first we have learned c what is center of curvature okay next what we have learned we have learned about uh, that is p pole okay next we have learned about f capital f that is focus now small f which means focal length focal length and another one that is r which means radius of curvature radius of curvature you all got it these are the things which we have learned right now your homework 
what exactly your homework is you need to draw a diagram where you will find out each and everything you will draw a neat diagram in that neat diagram you need to point out center of curvature pole focus focal length and radius of curvature you need to do this one you will draw separate diagrams for everybody and you need to find out each and every quantity each and every part of it okay now next next students <coughs> in this concept we will learn the relation between f and r the relation between f and r f means focal length r means radius of curvature so let me write here not capital f small f and r focal length and radius of curvature what it is students f is equal to r by 2 okay please see this one f is equal to r by 2 or r is equal to 2f r is equal to 2f from here what we have concluded from here we have concluded that always the focal length will be half of the radius of curvature always the focal length will be half of the radius of okay this is the formula suppose you got uh, focal length of a mirror is 4 cm focal length of a mirror is 4 cm what will be the radius of curvature 8 cm because f is equal to 2r suppose radius of curvature is 10 cm what will be the focal length that will be 5 because f is equal to r by 2 right so this is the relation and these are the things which we have learned in this particular class on the next class on our next class we will discuss we will discuss about activity number 2 and several other things right thank you